I'd like to cover one of the more useful uh, features of um, Microsoft Word that I think can really help students a lot, and that is the um, bibliography that it provides. Rather than keeping track of uh, all the information, uh, checking a website to make sure it's in the right format, making sure the works cited list is in all, um, automatic, um, alphabetical, alphabetical order and all the inline citations are there, Word will do a lot of this for you. So under Document Elements, you can see that there's a uh, bibliography session here. It's under uh, References, and you can choose APA or MLA, and you can even choose what um, set citations you would like to have in your um, document. So I've uh, been looking into some points of about basketball training, and I have uh, uh, written down four points here that require citations. So I'm going to go to document elements and uh, select bibliography, and uh, click manage. And right now I don't have any in there, but I need to add them. So I'm going to add this one here. I'm just put a little space here, so I'd like the in, uh, inline citation to go. I'm going to press plus. And uh, so I have to select whether it's a book or website or whatever it is, and uh, make sure that I enter all the information. Um, so I've, I've printed that in a separate page. I, I like it. Uh, you know, you can put the author's full name in there, and it'll do all the abbreviation for you. Make sure that the uh, everything you need is there. Uh, you know, I also have the uh, information up here in a uh, website, so I'm going to just cut and paste this whole title because, you know, it wouldn't be in a good shortcut if you had to do a lot of um, a lot of a lot of typing. So our, um, we're not exactly sure about the journal title because of the different language, but uh, this is my best guess. So again, I'm going to put that in there. It's kind of a, maybe a scientific reviews from Latin America, and I have a translated copy here. And uh, I know that it's uh, 2011. Fill in what you can. Sit, volume six, issue one. Um, do we have uh, more of a date here? Uh, it's accepted for publication in February. So I'll put that in there because it's the month. And now it's uh, in there. And uh, one little thing, you know, I'm going to click on the citation and um, reference the page number. So I'm going to click edit this citation and uh, to put in page 105 or multiple pages if that's the case there. And uh, now um, that is taken care of. Now this also saves a lot of time um, in that uh, if you've already cited an article before and you'd like to go back to it, um, you can do that. So I'm going to go citation click on the little settings, Citation Source Manager, and here's everything that I've ever cited. And um, un unfortunately, uh, it's not the best, like, uh, sorted by author, but it's not the easiest thing to search. You sometimes do have to scroll through it a little, but uh, once you do that, it's worth it. And then here we are. And I'm just going to double click, and it's already all in there. And then uh, I'm going to edit this citation to put the uh, page number in here. And so that saves a lot of time, uh, especially if you've used it for similar projects. Uh, it'll work well with uh, some websites too. And so here's a, an article I'm going to refer to. So 
I'm going to cut and paste the URL first. As you can see here on my screen uh, all the information I'm going to use. So I'm going to put that in here as a website. So I'll uh, put the URL in first. So it's from the uh, USA Basketball. I don't remember the exact name. I'm just going to go back again and copy it. I like the cutting and pasting. Saves a lot of time. Author's name was easy to remember. It was Alan Stein. And uh, the date. You will need two dates. You need the date that it was published, which was May 6th, 2015. And also, because websites can change, you need uh, the date that you access the information just to sort of cover yourself in case the page is revised. And then you enter it there. Uh, we don't need a page number for a website. And again, if the same um, article comes back again and you want to cite it again, well, you've already done that. So just go open up your, your uh, Manage. And maybe I'll just close. I'll click Manage. Double click here. And then it's easy to uh, repeat cite different things. And uh, now for the uh, second part of this is I um, will create my book cited list. I've uh, completed the article here and uh, I uh, have selected uh, APA for business. Uh, you can select uh, MLA if you want here as well. And I'm just going to uh, insert uh, and uh, you can see I've added uh, a number of sources. I'm going to add my works cited list. Now, um, I just want to sort of format things my way. Um, it does come with some default formatting, and I don't want to keep that. So I'm going to select paragraph single. Oops, single. Make sure that everything is uh, Times New Roman and uh, black, and there's no extra bold. We don't use that in uh, or excited lists. So then I will select paragraph, and I will add one line of space after each entry, and I will use a, a hanging entry. And, uh, so they're hanging paragraph just by adjusting this little tab here. And now I have everything in uh, APA. And if you need to add a source, you can right click on this and select update field. Uh, if you add a source later on, uh, and or if you change it to MLA, uh, you can cha change it under document elements to MLA. And again, click update field and it will uh, make all the changes for you. So it has saved a lot of time.